Welcome back to the Optimability course. In this section, we're going to actually be deep diving and figuring out exactly how to build a meal plan that works for you. So we're going to go into the how do I build a nutrition plan that works section, which is easily found within the first subheading under nutrition. So we're going to dive into it. How do I build a nutrition plan that works? Now, the first step is obviously calculating our requirements. And because calculating your requirements varies from person to person, this is the importance in duplicating your toolbox as soon as you get access to the Optimability Toolbox so that you can go in here and dial and fill in all of the calculations that you need to do in order to find exactly how much food you should be eating. And again, everything for that is explained within every single one of these steps. And again, this is something we went over in the earlier sections within fitness. And yeah, you just plop it all into here, figure it out. And then once you have your macronutrient table established, then we can start to make a meal plan. So the way it's organized right now is by days. And obviously this process goes a lot more in depth than just having it by days. And if we just open up one day of eating macronutrient totals, in this example, we have the meal, meal two, meal three, and then the totals for the day. And so how do we actually calculate this and what is the most effective way of doing this? So the easiest thing to do from my expertise and what I've been doing in the past is to choose any one of the cookbook options. We can just go with the Optimability Cookbook for now and we'll open that up here in a second. And then what we'll actually notice is depending on what we want to eat, we're going to have exactly everything that we're going to need in terms of our macros right here on the right. So if we just add up all of the totals for all the things we're consuming, we're going to be within our goals for the day. So for example, if we go back to how do I build a nutrition plan that works, then here we have our totals of 3,294 3, calories for the day, 130 grams of protein, and then 287 grams of carbs, 116 grams of fat, Again, super easy, just looking at the totals for calories, carbs, protein, and then fat. And depending on what we're eating, so if we're strictly eating off this cookbook, let's say we have a bowl for breakfast with 651 cows, we have an ALT sandwich with 552 cows, and then we have a shake with 500 cows ish and then we have a Greek lentil soup for dinner. We're looking at around 2,000, 2,300 calories for the day we want to organize this in a manner that suits our requirements. So once you complete all of the calculations, you're going to have your protein targets and your macronutrients for the day as well. And then again, you don't need to count your calories, but having a somewhat of a meal plan laid out for yourself is going to definitely streamline the process when it comes down to knowing exactly what to eat. Now, most things in all of these sections are very much so healthy, especially the vegan meal plan, the Optimability Cookbook, anti-inflammatory smoothies, and the one month meal plan bundle. One thing I would really recommend watching out for is your levels of saturated fat, trans fats, and added cholesterols in the Optimability Cookbook. They are the last three in each one. So for example, something like an Israeli salad is going to have very, very good macros, actually. 28 grams of carbs, five grams of protein, obviously low on the protein, but in terms of the saturated fat, trans fat added cholesterol, it's very good in comparison to something like chicken teriyaki that has 345 milligrams of cholesterol. Obviously we want these numbers to be as close to zero as possible because they do nothing for the body. And then, yeah, you want to just make sure to streamline your macronutrients, line them up with what you're supposed to be consuming. And obviously if you're in a deficit, you want to be eating a little bit less. And then if you're in a surplus, you want to be eating 300 to 500 calories more on top of what you would already be eating. And then after you figured out kind of a rough idea of what your meal plan is, you can then afterwards go down to find out what supplements you should be taking. I highly recommend a protein powder as well as creatine and just testing out the loading phase on creatine, seeing if you react well to it and then going from there. The beauty of having something like the Optimability Cookbook or a cookbook in general is that you're generally going to have very good nutrition. You're not eating a lot of processed ingredients. You're not eating a lot of damaging components, not a lot of fats and stuff like that. And because you're mainly eating a balanced diet, you won't really have to worry about taking a ton of these supplements that we're recommending. Obviously some brain boosters are caffeine and creatine, but relatively the importance of your nutrition is going to be structured around different protocols 
such as your fitness and your recovery. So with the nutrition now dialed, we want to go back into fitness, make sure we're organizing our fitness properly. And then in the next section, we're going to be talking about recovery and what types of supplements in terms of the recovery protocols, which are supplements, right? You're supplementing your nutrition and your fitness and you're boosting your overall productivity with these protocols. So in most cases, again, just take what you want from the nutrition cookbooks that we've provided here. One more time, if we go into something like best vegan meal plan options, you can shuffle through all of this stuff. And for example, for something like for dinner, if you want to have this raw vegan lasagna, everything is here, the macros, the ingredients, everything. So you just want to go through this, pick out things that seem tasty to you that you can see yourself eating for a while, and then just keep building your nutrition plan from there. And yeah, cheers. Hopefully I'll see you soon.